Well, all of these cardiac conditions that I've talked about are hereditary or congenital. By hereditary, I mean they run in families. So the, one of the greatest clues is a family history of someone in the family being affected with a condition that could potentially cause sudden death. So it's very, very important to take this history from a young individual when they present with a cardiac symptom. Has, your, has anyone in the family got a cardiac problem? Normally, the, the individual will reply yes or no. If they reply no, we stop. But you shouldn't do that. You should say, has anyone in the family blacked out without warning? Is there anybody in the family who's got epilepsy? Is there anyone in the family that has been told they've got an enlarged heart or is, has been investigated previously for palpitation? You see, some people may have been investigated and given the all clear even though there were several family members with symptoms. So it's very important to ask, not just, not, just, not just about a family history of heart problems, but also specifically, is there anyone in the family with blackouts, with fits, who've had in cardiac investigations? We should also talk about unexplained drownings and road traffic accidents. For the ambulance man, it's very important. Obviously, when an ambulance man arrives to a home where a young person's heart stopped, someone's resuscitating, it will be important for, for one of the paramedics to ask quickly about uh, family history of conditions that may cause sudden death. Of course, the thing that's on everybody else's mind is, could this be a drug overdose? Could this be a simple faint? Could this be a diabetic emergency? Could this be a fit? No one actually thinks about a condition that's killed off several family members that hasn't come to the surface until that particular day. So it's very important to ask that question.